and it is DJ Bonix with my special guest right now. We got Dream Doll here tonight. Hey, Dream Doll. How you feeling, Dream Doll? I'm feel great. Um, you know, been in, from city to city. Have you been to Minnesota ever in your life? No, before? I never been here before. I thought I didn't know it was cold. Of course, that's well, all, I didn't know it was snow. That's all people know <laughs> is that it's cold. But you can handle the snow. I mean, this is like no, the, yeah. New York. New York can get like yeah, this. Yeah, it so. wasn't. It's not like cold. It was just snow. Do you know anything about Minnesota at all? No. 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 Prince, though? You, do you like Prince, or is that kind of out of your range a little no, bit? No, I, I, rem- I remember Prince, but, you know, that was a Purple Rain type of thing. Purple Rain. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. We like that. Welcome to Minnesota, Thank by the you. way. Very nice. Uh, do you know what the basketball or the football teams are or anything? Listen, if hey, I... Yo, I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm just curious. I want to know. Come I just on, moved man. here, so I'm just trying to figure out. I'm not out. a sports girl. Okay. Hey. I like to go and take pictures on floor side seats of the wood and my feet on the floor. Okay. I don't know what's going on. I'm just a snap, Insta snapper. You're an Insta snapper. When it comes to sports. Uh, all right. Well, that makes sense. But I like to watch it's, games it's all about the gram. <laughs> now, a lot of, uh, I would say your success started with Instagram, right? And Yes. And start, getting it popping on definitely Instagram. Definitely started with Instagram, um, mainly from my pictures. Right. And then uh, reality TV. Well, this is like a new thing, you know what I'm saying? Like a new <laughs> culture, getting famous off something like social media. So yeah. there are people who really have dreams and, and to get success through Instagram. So since you're cloud one, chases too. Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> so but you're still one of the pioneers in yeah. that. So as far uh, as trying to, you know, start a business or did you know that like when you started your Instagram or was it just like I'm posting pictures, I'm popping or did you know was it a business mind going into it? No. Um I was just, you know, I like to take pictures. I'm very photogenic, so I like to take pictures and I know I didn't know um, I was gonna wind up on TV for a social media show, right, so right. it was just like a blessing. Okay, but social media be a gift and a curse sometimes. You know, you want to be regular and then it just be like, of course, the extra stuff. You know? So let me ask you this: You ever look at your? Uh, do you ever look at your screen time on your phone? Do you like know what, what that time is? is it? No, no, it tells you how much time you spend on your phone. No, where you no. find that? It's, at? it's a new app. I, you might be able to search it on there. Have you updated your phone? Yeah, I just updated it. Where you go put the little we, monkey we on your face check it out. FaceTime? You should check it out right now. See if you can find it. We, so we what it do? Yeah, so look up screen time. It's an app? Yes, it's automatically on your phone. You got an iPhone or not? Someone, yeah, I got an iPhone, but someone told me about that. That. So now you could look at how much time you someone spend on each app. Someone told me that. And it would, they limited it to 30 minutes. and stuff. So you, what's your phone? I, blacks out? No, I want, I want you to tell me how much time you spend on your, your Instagram. I think it tells you how many hours a day or something. On like Instagram? That. Yeah. Or on my phone? Okay, it says social network. You would never guess. How many hours? It says uh, per week or per day. Okay. Guess how much I spend on Instagram. What, per week or per day, though? How do you know? I, well, all right, what's it say on Instagram? Okay, today. Um. Oh, last seven days. Last seven days. On Instagram. All right. How many hours? Okay, so today I spent... 16 minutes. Okay. That's not bad. Wow. And um, for the last seven days, I spent three three hours. Wow. But look, That's I'm not, not, as much as you may think, I'm a big Instagram. I'm literally, my phones are in my pocket. That's not a lot. That's not a lot. It's not a lot like, at all. I see people with three hours a day, four hours a day no. on Instagram. So you're, I literally, not, you're on it like that. I literally check my DM probably every quarter of the day. Right. Um... I'm a big email checker, though. Okay. Okay. Wow. <laughs> big email checker. Okay. Big email checker. Um, Wait, what's your email of choice? Gmail. Gmail. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right. Gmail. Gmail. Um, and I literally post my picture, and I'll go back to it like four hours later, and I'll go through the comments and, you know, block party or whatever Ooh, I want to do. Okay. Um, You know, reply. What about your DMs? Crazy? DMs are crazy. DMs be lit. Yeah. Do you go through gonna, them to laugh, or do you actually, I like, go through them, and I, rep- I always repost, like, all my fans, that's one thing. Like, if they do a video to one of my songs or my song playing on the radio, okay. I always repost it. Okay. Um. So I have a lot of... That's what I mainly go on my DMs for. Are you, like, a, are you snooty about who you follow and stuff? Sometimes. I be trying to cut it down because right. I don't want to be the person that follow Everybody. 5 million people. Right. You know? Right. Um. But... It just makes too much nonsense on my page sometimes. Who, who's your favorite people to, like, look at? Like, you know, because you're still young, so you might look at, like, a Rihanna's or, like, whose Instagram I do you like to look Kim. at? I love Kim. Kim Kardashian. Okay, okay. I love her page. I just love the Kardashians. Um, And I like vlogs. Like, I follow a lot of blogs so that yeah. I could just be up to date. Okay. And I have an app called Skim, and it actually... What is that? The Skim. 
the skim and what's that? And it literally tells you what's going on in the whole world. Wow. It's like See, you put me on like, right now. It's literally like one page and it's just everything that's going on in the world. Like, let me look at it right now because I ain't looking okay, at it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, put us up to date. What's I'm going put, on today? I'm putting you on. Come right, on. Matter of fact, they need to come in my chat. Okay. Okay. There he is. <laughs> All right, skim. So it literally, um, you know, it says the Senate is putting the pressure on the oh. Trump. And then it says the Fed share speaks and everyone listens. Okay, so so do you follow the news at all, or you just kind of no, like to know what's going on? No, I just go through this. Okay, that that tells helpful. you what's going on in Miami. It tells you about a shooting in around you. It tells you like world's it's December first to World's A Day. Okay, GTO summit begins. Look at this. It's supposed to be like when you wake up in the morning, you're drinking your coffee, and right. you're on the toilet. Right. Or whichever one Look, you want to so, do. So let me ask you this: the first thing you do in the morning though is look at your phone, right? I just stopped. Okay. Um, How do you train yourself to stop that? Because you know it's a problem. Kind no, of I'm gonna tell you. So I met. I met. Um, I was uh, during the tour. I had um an interview, and they were like, "What do you do in the first thing you wake up?" And I'm like, "My phone." Right. They're like, "You automatically put yourself in like a, uh, uh, like this, this, this category. Like you, o- you automatically put your 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 mind right. You know, right to everybody else. Right. They're like, when you wake up. Give yourself 20 minutes, go pray, thank God, and then go to your phone. Because one thing about me, as soon as, if I wake up and I turn to my phone, I have two phones. Let's keep that right, in mind. Okay. Um, Kevin you Gates. know, so Instagram, DMs, emails, replying, text messages, replying, phone calls, returning. It's a lot. That's already like 40 minutes of my time. Right, and I got to right, do right. that on both phones. You know, and even like Snapchat. I, that's why Twitter, I be on Twitter like, Literally once a week, cause right, I cannot, right. I cannot keep track of all them social medias. Like even like um Facebook, I haven't been on my Facebook in like all year. Do you get hurt when pe- people write hurtful stuff on us? You know. Listen, I you hurt me, I'ma hurt you right back. Wow, so you say okay. something mean to me, I'ma okay. say something mean to you back. All right, don't okay. think that you could. I don't care how how popular I am or right. thing. Hey, don't say mean real, stuff. Man. New York, you're from New York. Let's but go. I don't say mean stuff like to be make somebody. I just be like. Say something. Um, to make them think or something. And just something they, sarcastic. Right, right, like if right. they say something okay. like, oh, your butt is this or your boobs is this. And I'd be like, I'll just say something smart. Just something right. smart. I think you're okay. I like you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> so uh, speaking of Kardashians, mm-hmm. and obviously they they made a big stink uh, with their reality show. I used to watch when you used to be on a reality show. Oh, God. And honestly, I don't watch Love and Hip Hop. I've never watched, but the for some reason that the one season all on, um, Bad Girls Club. of Bad Girls Club where yeah. you, were kind of, um, you, were bull- you were bullying a little bit. No. You, you were being a bully. Listen. Or did they make you look like you were listen, a bully? Listen, I right, right. was the, the, the watcher before. You know, <laughs> I watched Bad Girls Club for 15 seasons. Right, okay. So you knew what you were I doing. I knew what I was getting myself right, into, right. but I also was the same girl that used to watch Basketball Wives and I used to dislike Jackie Christie, right. you know, and it was like from me watching, I'm like, oh wow, she's really mean. She's starting stuff. Right. She was picking on people, to whoever's new on the cast. And then I actually did the show, and I'm like, okay, now it's it doesn't really go down like that. Like, right. you literally don't know what you go through until it happens. You can't judge people off an edited show because right, when right. you meet me in person, am I a belief? And they make it. They can make it look like. No, however. they make it they twenty could, times. They could put circus music and change the whole mood, but you know, if they put like that no. serious dramatic music, then it it's looks- not even that. It's that they show <laughs> what they want to show. You know, it's course, edited, so they're not going to show when the girls came behind my bed and took all my designer shoes and hit them. They're not going to show that. They didn't. They didn't show. They didn't show a lot of stuff. They just wanted me make me look like the bad guy. But right. it's okay because I. Got a second chance on TV. Okay. Um, you know, and I apologize at the reunion. She forgave me. That's all I really cared that's, about. And that's it. Forgiveness and, um, is key. Yeah, yep, when yep. I when I apologized, I gave her a hug. If she wanted to put me in a headlock, if she wanted to give me a wedgie, if she wanted to pull my <laughs> weave out, she could have did that. She didn't. Right. She accepted my apology. So I moved on from there. Okay. And then I got a second chance, you know, to be on right. Love and Hip Hop. Um, you know, and I actually won people over and then, you know, um, Stuff like that. Forgiveness is key, though. Forgiveness See, really, is key, it, but you can't judge people off TV, and right. I know that now. So. It, was, was music always the end up being the goal that you think, or is it something that you found on the way? Well, I used to do music in college. Okay. Um, what college? I went to her. I'm actually graduated from college. Uh, so I'm okay. Using brains, okay. okay. Forgiveness. <laughs> College degree, <laughs> and you like to watch the Senate and all the new stuff. I see yeah, you over here. Yeah, come on, I man. I see you over here, Dream. So, um, yeah, I graduated from business. 
So I'm okay. like, that's why I'm the email person. I'll be sending it like, here, this for you, this for you, to my whole team. All right. To every, literally everybody on my team, shoot email, 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 forward, forward, forward. I'll be like, oh, this to you. This ain't got to do with me. Line this up. Conference call this day. Don't be you know? fooled. Don't be fooled. You're a little bit of a geek, I think. I think you're a geek. Low key. <laughs> Low key geek. Low key. <laughs> but um, you get me behind there and I'll, that'll all look like. Yeah, looking crazy. Mm. Uh, let's talk about Life in Plastic too. Life in Plastic part yes. two. Yes. I saw the video and you definitely went over the budget. <laughs> Definitely went over the budget. And, I think uh, that's a problem that I always have with whatever I do, whether it's hair, I want to fly somebody out and get the, you know, I always kind of go over the budget. But um, no, that was that looked like a lot of fun to to record. It's so much fun, and I'm not gonna lie, that was my first video, and I was kind of like nervous, but it came out great. Okay. But um, yeah. So back to like what I was saying about music, like you know, I used to do music in um college. I used to do a lot of um talent shows wow and you know we'll do like what ciphers. song yeah like what song oh like your own your own yeah. stuff mm -hmm. okay, okay so you know <laughs> i actually you know um at that time you know college is tough right you know you gotta gotta it's like survivor of the fittest in college you gotta freaking sell scarves yeah, and just hey. to make yeah. just to make things me do people curls and make right, ten dollars right. you know so it really be a struggle you don't want to keep calling your mom and dad from from upstate or whatever right. You know, so it wasn't really like recording, like re even recording, like being an artist is not, is not, you know, it's, it comes with a fee. Yeah. Like for you sure. got to pay for an engineer. Like, right. you know, you put out songs, you got to pay for this and pay for that. So right. it wasn't financially the right thing to do. But um, I started doing um, a segment on in the radio station in New York, um, Topic Time. Okay. And then everybody would call up, you know, give their input, and um, it would be a topic like um, if your best friend, is dating a girl and you see her in the club she's looking hot and you're drunk would you like just topics okay, and everybody okay. will call up and i'll have it on my instagram so okay. it'll be like all my people from my instagram calling up and um i was doing that for like four months and then i, I had a conversation with myself and i'm like yeah i used to do music like i used to rap and he's like oh yeah i'm like yeah he like all right whatever no, okay so i'm like you know i'm like okay, okay. so I brought, he like bring me a record so i went to philly recorded everything nice and i um Bought it to him, and he played it in the club, and that's where to go from there. So, I mean, so <laughs> you could say that it is uh, somewhat natural then for you. Because I feel like, you know, some models and whatever, Instagram girls, all end up becoming rappers because of... I don't have to try. And I'm not, that, I love that. I'm not I a big that. lyricist, like, like very, like, yeah, no, but, talking about pain and all that stuff. Like, I like to have fun. fun I like right. to talk about whatever. I like, and I'm very... My hooks are very catchy. Like I like to just have fun. And well, that's where I, came I look from. at it now that I feel like female MCs right now are are way more harder than do. Like dudes are being real emo and like, oh, yeah. That's why we need to stick together, girl. And power. girls are like twerking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, if there was uh, MCs that you would love, female MCs that you would love to collab with, mm. uh, who would that be? MC Light. Okay. Um, All right. Rhapsody. Wow. Um. I met Roxanne Shante in um, Sirius. Oh, my God. Wow. She's so cool. I didn't even know I was her first. I'm like, oh, wow. The GOAT. Wow. And she's so humble. She was like, hey, Dream, let's take a selfie. I, I, after I'm like, wait, yo, she look familiar. And then I'm like, oh, and her daughter want to take a picture of me. Like, it's a uh, big thing. Like, Netflix, she's a big thing. You saw the Netflix? Uh, of course uh, I did. Yeah, yeah. But okay. I'm like, it, that wasn't her on there. Right. You know, it was an actress. So... You know, when I actually see her person, I'm like, I kept saying, like, she looked familiar. She looked familiar. But for her to be excited to take a picture with me, I'm like, girl, I'm excited to take a picture right, with you. Right, right, you right. You know, so it was just like, um, it was very, like, a, a very excited moment. Um, But I have a record with Little Kim on my project, Life in Plastic Part 2. That's crazy. It's called Funeral. Okay. And um, that was a major thing for me. Hell yeah. Yeah. So, um, you know, just Little Kim co-signing me. And um, it just, it's just great feeling if you had a choice between nikki or cardi what would it be well i just performed for cardi b's fashion over she did okay. a um, okay. all-female concert right okay and i um i actually just performed there the one in la right um so i love like He's... the women empowerment type of thing like right. you know and um you know do you I, uh you shop at fashion over yeah I, come on i don't i mean this yeah Listen, this is a man's world over here i don't know the way my body is set up right I can only wear, I can't wear 100% cotton. And I can only wear stretchy stuff. And Fashion Nova's the only stuff that fit my body. Okay. okay. And they cash out good checks. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> well, we appreciate you. Uh, you got everything nice is out right now. Yes, Life sir. in Plastic 2. Make sure you go check it out. There's one thing that I pulled away from this. Um, 
you're a very intelligent girl. And I appreciate that. Thank because you. Because in hip hop, a lot of times I feel like people try to sell the ignorant part of it. Of course. Or people try to sell this other, um, you know, plastic thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I see here is real, and I appreciate that. No, that's why, I, but that's the thing. Like, that's why when people meet me in person, I always change. Like, right. even that's why, like, I like to go on um, live and I like to do YouTubes and I like to just talk to the people because, you know, it's so easy for you to judge me off a show that somebody else edited. But right. if I just sit in front of the camera and I just, like, I did a question and answer and it went viral. Right. Um, You know, and it's just like, it, it's more like authentic and you get to know me for me. And yeah. it's not, oh my God, VH1 edited her to be this way right. or, you know. But on another note, okay. um, I can't wait to go to L.A. because I had hit Wiz up and he said he's going to do a record with me. So. Who? Wiz. What? Yeah. <laughs> I better be there for that. Come on, nice. man. You know, he's doing an R&B album right now, so yeah. he's doing a lot of singing. But no, sure no, no. that would we, be amazing. If, he, if you... I definitely, well, he actually hit me up. He was like, keep going. I remember you from when you first started. Hey. So, um, you know, he was, we was following each other on Instagram for a little while, even before I like really started taking the music hard. Right. Um. So, you know, he watched my growth, like him, Chris, like all of them. Like watch watch me grow, you know, and really for me to be performing on the stages that I hit. Like I was Crazy. the girl in the crowd right. looking at the screen. So even when I be performing on these big stages, I always look up. I'll be like, Wow. Right. <laughs> like me currently, like on the stage, like I'll turn right. around, I'll I look up. I feel the same way, you know, just to take something that I really love. Like mm -hmm. I grew up in and I had a uh, a poster of Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style on my joint. And two years ago, I got to tour. Well, actually, I did a couple tours with Snoop, but Wiz and Snoop tour. Mm -hmm. And just to, you know, Snoop passing yeah. me the joint on stage every Yo, night. I'm just like, hip-hop Snoop hit me, me up like, too. Ah. He was like, you're doing great. Keep going. And, it, and it'd be like when OGs and people that actually, you know, like pave their way and right. stamp their name when they, you know, give me my props, it be it mean the world to me because it's like you have you never know who's watching you. Right, right. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. So uh one last thing for the young dream out there <laughs> for for the dreamers. Uh, for the young dreamers out there <laughs> and the, you know, uh the people that look up to you or mm -hmm. people uh that are trying to whatever it be music or art or however they're trying to get it. Can you give any advice to to young people out there? Of course. Um I will say you know, never give up. Um, it always gets hard before it gets good. Right. Like, um, like literally last year, I wasn't invited to the BET Awards. Went out there with no pass, nothing, and found my way to be there, you know? Right, right. And this year, I actually performed on the BET Experience yeah. stage. So, like, it's it's always it, it it's always gonna get better. You just gotta keep working hard. You gotta right. keep putting in, and you got you gotta them knows you gotta turn the nose to yes. You feel me? Cause I asked Little Kim, can you do a feature with me? She could have said no. I would have right. still loved her. Right. You know, maybe it just wasn't the right, that time. You know, I would have right. I would have got from my album. You know, I would still kept asking, her. but um, she said yes. So you know, sometimes you gotta do what what you you sometimes you gotta put your pride down. That's right. really what it be like. You gotta put your pride down. And you got to, like, really know what you want to do and put your all into it. Like, I just came off radio promo tour in, in, Septem in September, right after the BET Awards, and I spent $30,000 on my tour, like, literally just radio. And it wasn't right. even, like, 30. It was for a team. Fashion and over money. That's fashion over money. Come you know? on, man. No, <laughs> no, man. I don't have a job. I don't have a job. That's my money. Right. You know, so it's just, like, you know, just really, you know, doing what I love to do and... You know, not I wasn't doing shows or anything at right. that time. You know, I was just basically, right. literally, paying to get to every station and meet the meet the DJs, meet the program directors, make sure that my you know I leave my presence in every station. Yeah. You know, and it was all worth it because every time I left the city, I get DMs, DMs, DMs. Yeah. Oh, everything night dreams I was playing. You know, and then I look at the um the sheet. You know, I gotta look, no, gotta look at the sheet. Right, Spins. Right, right. So then I'll see um. From that tour alone, my spins went went from like sixteen to like three hundred. Yeah, I swear to God, in like a week. So I'm like, oh my God! As long as it's worth it, you gotta put in to get out, but right. you can't always expect nothing back. You never know. You gotta be able to be like, you never know. It's like walking in a a door, not knowing what's on the other side. You know, so you just gotta stay focused and be destined to win. You know, I was taught to win, but I learned more from my losses. I always say that. <laughs> But, Dream Doll, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Follow me on Instagram hey. at Dream Doll underscore underscore Life in Plastic Part 2 streaming everywhere. Everything nice. Go get that. Okay? Talk to me nice. Yeah.